Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 3. Today we're going to be looking at Japanese taiko drumming and we'll even learn some Japanese words. Remember, don't worry if you don't have a drum at home, you can always use different objects around the house and you can also use your own body to make percussion sounds. Welcome everyone. This is Japanese taiko drumming. Taiko drumming is another word of drum. So taiko actually means drum in Japanese. So taiko drumming is very, very important in Japanese culture. It is used at the start of all their celebrations. It's used in prayer. It's used at festivals. Lots and lots of places would use taiko drumming. It's the national music of Japan. So taiko drumming is very physical and it demands a lot of concentration but it's great fun. So first of all, we're going to do a little warm up. And the way that we have to drum in taiko is that we have to stand in a certain way. Your left foot goes forwards and your right foot goes backwards. Slight bend of the knee. And that is called the stance. And the stance is really important because it keeps you balanced. And it also means that you can drum for quite a long time and you don't really feel tired. So when you approach your drum, I've got a snare drum here, but it could be any drum. Or it could even be a chair or a washing basket. I'm using a snare drum today uh, just to help with the sound. But when you approach your drum, you need to stand in that stance. So practice that a couple of times, stepping forward, stepping back and bending. And then you feel really strong and ready to drum. drumming one of the main rhythms in taiko drumming is called don and don is a simple strike of the drum don and don can be a crotchet if you read music or it could also be a quarter note don so if we do some dons all together we can make a nice rhythm so we're just going to keep a nice steady pulse Excellent. And now we're going to introduce another rhythm. Now another rhythm in Taiko is called Doko. Doko sounds exactly as you say it. So Don, Doko, Don. The great thing about Taiko is that the actual words sound like the drum itself. Don, Doko, Don, Doko, Don, Don, Don. You can try that too. So we'll do this in our warm up. We'll do four dons and then the pattern that I've just shown you there. So it will come up on the screen. Don, don. Okay, we'll do that again. Brilliant. So just do some practice for your warm up, standing in your stance, nice bended knee, approaching the drum, stick sometimes form a point like this, and we can make some nice strikes on the drum to dons and docos. Another great warm up in Taiko is just to do quite a fast doko rhythm. So we'll try this now. So we approach our drum and we're just going to do lots of docos to warm our hands.
important rhythm in taiko drumming. Also a really important rhythm is a silent beat. And you might think, why is silence really important? It is in taiko and it's called a su. And su is arms in the air. And your arms need to be not really straight right back, but just slightly in front of you for a su. So we could try a don, doko, don, don, su, don, don. So su is really important and it's a silent beat. So reaching up in the air for su and coming down to play the drum. As I said before, it's really important to say your rhythms. So don, doko, don, don, su, don, don. You can try that then again. Often in taiko drumming, the drummers will say the word su really quietly. Su. And we can try that now. Su. Su. And that's our little warm up of taiko. So our first taiko piece uses dons, docos and saw rays and it goes like this. Don, doco, don. Don, doco, don. Don, doco, don. Don, su, don, don. Don, doco, don. Don, doco, don. Don, doco, don. Don, su, don, don. chanting and practicing. Rewind and freeze this video as much as you like so that you can get this piece perfect. So before we play our taiko piece that we usually say a command it's sore and in Japanese that means off we go. It's a way of counting in so that everyone is together. Usually in taiko drumming, you'd have a whole group of people playing at the same time as you. And if you've got family or other people in your house who would like to play some taiko drumming, you can get them involved. So we're going to say sore now to, to count in our piece. So we find our stance and we say sore and then we start to play. So this time we'll play our piece again and we'll say sore as an introduction. Here we go. Sore. Well done. And now we can learn some other taiko moves which are really good. But before we do, we're going to learn a tiny bit of Japanese language. Usually in music we count people in. You might have heard one, two, three, four, and people know when to stop. In Japanese we say ichi ni sore. Ichi just means one, and sore is off we go. Ichi ni is one, two. Sore, off we go. Ichi ni sore just gives a sense of the pulse of the music of how fast it's going to go or how slow. So this time when we count in, we'll say Ichi ni sore. Here we go. Ichi ni sore. In our taiko video we have learnt the stance, we have learnt don, we've learnt doko, we've learnt su, 
and now we're going to learn key and key is a really kind of high pitch sound and it's made by clicking our sticks key and key is really important when you're trying to get a really really cutting through sound and it's used on its own but it's also used as a double key which would be key key so if i was to play a piece with key in it see what you can spot So the key key sound is a really high pitched sound. So you can try that on your drumsticks if you have some. Usually Japanese players would use something called bachi and bachi are really thick sticks. This is a pair of bachi. I'm not going to use these bachi today because I'm worried about my drum if I do so. But these are really thick. They're almost like a rolling pin. So try not to use drumsticks that are too heavy on the wrong drum. So I'm just using some sticks today, some rods, and that's going to make a different sound. But if you can imagine a lot of people playing big drums and using huge batchy, the sound of taiko is immense. So you can find some videos on YouTube. If you type in Mugenkyo Taiko Drummers, they are a brilliant taiko drumming group from Scotland, and you'll be able to see lots of their videos. We're going to chant it first of all using everything we've learned so far ichi, ni, and sore, and also all the words. So I'm going to set a pulse. Here is the rhythm don, doko, da, don, doko, da, ki, ki, doko, doko, su, don, 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 doko, da, don, doko, da, ki, ki, doko, doko, su, don, don. And I suggest that you chant that a few times before we play, so you can pause this video at any time. So let's try using a kiki this time. So we're going to step forward with our drum, find our stance, and we're going to play together. Ichi, ni, so re. did you get on? I think maybe rewind the video, have a little go over and over again and see how you get on. Okay so the next part is we're going to learn a new move in Taiko. We're going to learn Kara and Karaka and Kara uses the edge of the drum. So if we find our stance, Ka is on the edge at about 10 o'clock. If you imagine the clock face was here on your drum, ka and kara. And that just gives a really different sound to your drum. And in taiko, that's all about making the different sounds high and low with your drum. So ka and kara are really, really important. So, so far we've got don, we've got doko, we have su. We also have ki and kiki. We also now have ka and kara. So let's try a piece with all of these elements in. Here we go. So the rhythm of this, if I keep a steady pulse, don, doc, go, don, don, doc, go, don. Don, doko, don, don, su, don, don. Ki, ki, doko, doko, ki, ki, doko, doko, karaka, karaka, su, don, don.
let's try this together. We'll count in. It's quite hard, so don't feel that you have to do the whole song all in one go. It's absolutely fine. So we stand, find our stance. We'll count in. Itchy, knee, so ready. Well done. Keep rewinding that and keep going over and over it until you're absolutely perfect. Keep chanting. You'll notice when I'm chanting that I make different sounds with my voice. Ki, ki is up there somewhere. Doko, doko is down there. So it might help when you're saying your rhythms over and over again that you make those sounds and then they'll go into your head and you'll be able to play much better. we haven't talked about is shouting. Shouting is really important in taiko drumming and usually your drum teacher or your teacher, your music teacher would not let you shout in a music lesson but in taiko drumming it's encouraged because what it does it means that all your energy is expelled, the players around you are really encouraged by your shout and lots and lots of energy is created by shouting and the shout that they use is ha. Now ha comes from here not from up here. Ha really strong ha. Try it after four. One, two, three, four, ha! So this time in our piece we're going to play our piece together and at the end we're going to put in a big shout. So it's going to sound like this. I'll play it for you first of all. Itchy, me. So right. Ha. And you'll notice at the end of my ha, I've put my fist out, my right fist, and I've drawn back with my right hand. A lot of different type of players do different has. Some ha, some ha, and they pull back. It doesn't really matter. You can make up your own ha. I quite like this one because it's quite forceful. So ha is a really important shout. Let's try that together. Let's find our stance and let's play our piece. Itchy, knee, so right. Thanks for watching and enjoy your taiko session. Bye!